Hello everybody, welcome back to Kane's Not Good. I don't know. So, I ha oh my god, I haven't spoken. My voice is gone. It's been gone for days now. Disgusting spots on my nose, so that's why I've got stickers in front. So you don't have to look at the bulbous pus. A long time ago now, like two years or something like that, I did a video on Jeremy Fragrance. And then I completely forgot about him. And then he just started appearing on my TikTok for you page again over and over and over again. And there's been some developments with him in a couple of ways. There's drilling. Can you hear it? I don't know if you can hear it. It's just in my blood clot ear. Anyway, before I get into it, if you don't know who Jeremy Fragrance is, he's a TikToker, YouTuber, and he just does perfumes and colognes. Like, he just reviews all of them. He's a German man living in America, and he's a bit mental. And if this is your first introduction to him, I'm not giving you a deep dive. You can go look yourself. This is not what this channel's for. I'm here for as little as possible because I can't speak. He's 35 years old, and this year he just put out an ad saying I'm looking for a wife just like me but the difference between me and Jeremy is I'm not mental and what he's been doing is he's been snapchatting all of these women videos and text and I'm gonna read some of them to you and we're gonna have a little look but before that let's just have a little refresher of what Jeremy's like as a person just so we can get more of an image in our head look at this guys Wow Last time when a guy from his race was here, they were not so afraid. So my apartment seems to attract these type of animals. I know he's German and his first language isn't English, but I like that he called an animal a race, not species or type or anything, a, the race. I enjoy that. How long is this going for? Too long. 25 seconds too long. I don't think you should have uploaded that. The thing is though, he's just living life and I respect it. I'm not even here to mock him or take the piss, but he... I am, no, I am here to mock him. So all the women that are emailing him and snapchatting him, that's what you could look forward to, right on your clitoris. Mm, nom, 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 nom. I haven't structured this video, I just thought I'm gonna look at Jeremy for a bit, so if it's shit, go watch people that get millions of views, not me who gets seven, alright? So with everything in mind, he's 35 years old, and this is how he's talking to women. Can I press my cock into your mouth? Can I press my cock into your mouth, Rory? Good, tell me you want my cock in your mouth. Well done. Well done, Jeremy. I'm sure you're gonna get a perfectly upstanding woman talking to them like that. And that's not even the worst one. This one goes on for ages. <laughs> oh, I've just skimmed it a bit. Oh my God. Imagine speaking to women like this or speaking to people in general like this at any age, even at 20, this is weird. I want to see even without underwear and just your hand in front of your you know what. 35 years old, by the way, guys. 35? You know what? Don't want to say it. But then you're saying cock in your mouth, Rory, put my cock in your mouth. And then this time you're saying in front of you, know, you know what? Pick a personality, Jeremy. Are you going vulgar or <laughs> I'm so timid and cheeky? He does say that he is the number one fragrance icon who follows the teachings of Jesus Christ. I don't think Jesus Christ ever told anyone that he wants to put his cock in their mouth. I could be wrong. I didn't know him personally, but... I don't think that Jesus would really like that, unless it's your wife, because marriage means that it's okay for you to do stuff like that, innit? Like, if you're out of, out of wedlock and you're saying, let me, let me finger you, oh, you're going to hell. But if you're married and you text your wife that, let me finger you, oh, he looks down and goes, I like that. I don't know, anyway. <coughs> Send me that when you go now to restroom, Corey, fast. For me, a picture with hands in front of your breast without face, Corey. I like how he's saying their name a couple of times because that's what you're learning like business class, isn't it? If you're selling someone something, you want to say their name. Something like that, I don't know, to make them like you, you say their name. And then let's read the next one. You hot woman, you know what I do with you after we have our dinner in a fine restaurant together and you wear your sexy dress in that evening. You know what we do later than Sarah. See, same name again. I know his game. It's not going to happen. And he's just completely, you know, a little bit weird that 
she said it's not going to happen and he's continued bit you know sex pest there are men out there like me that aren't pestering women like this and he's ruining it he's made he's the all men he's brush he's i've been brushed with it again oh all men yep all men and it, I, I don't know what i'm saying i can't even speak it will happen intensely babe you will wear a pretty black dress and show your boobs like you always show i'm assuming he means like in her snapchats or something therefore if if a woman's showing off her body publicly you know when like instagram stories or facebook posts whatever then you as a man are entitled to get them in your dms that's how it works a woman showing off her titties oh look at me in my nice dress no me specifically now with them out that's how it works ladies that's how it works all right if you're showing yourself off in any capacity my dms all right <laughs> <laughs> we have dinner we order food before food comes i take you by the hand i take you by hand and we 10 minutes. What are you saying, Jeremy? Proofread. I go with you on restroom, kiss you and press down, kiss you and press you down, open my business suit pants, you start sucking my cock, then for two minutes. <laughs> That's it, it's done. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you open my business pants just for two minutes and then that's it and then we go back and finish our food perhaps what is he on about man oh 35 years old by the way and he's got no game zero game this whole fucking time i've got that drilling going on i'm sorry i don't know what they're doing it's probably my neighbor just doing it in a wall for fun because it's been going on for a week Jeremy, he's off his head. And this video is probably going to get demonetized. So if you want to support the channel, £5, £10, link in the description. Thank you to this person that donated to the channel. I'm so hungry, but it says it's going to my cats. It's not it's going in my pocket. It's going in my pocket. I'm actually going to get loads of soothers and try and get my voice back. Or maybe a metal detector and go on the beach and look for it. Because I don't know where it's gone. So he has a couple of videos as well. He's done a video Snapchat to someone and they've recorded it. I'm erected physically simply seeing you talk. Fuck off. I'm erected physically. How else? How else, Jeremy? This has got 1.5 million likes. Jesus, man. Wait, oh, so she's super young compared to him as well. He's 35. So he's nearly double her age and he's super erect. Cool, man. Cool. I am impressed that you don't have a boyfriend yet. He's a freak, isn't he? I can understand maybe like hitting up a girl or two. You know what I mean? If you're looking for a wife, got a couple girls you like maybe try and talk to him but the man put out a fucking ad and and he's just thirsting for all of them he's doing this and talking to women like this constantly as well no matter fucking what he's on him he's a good guy i like it oh what is this this is called jeremy fragrance exposed and it's got some spooky music to it and i see it as a bonus although it's not a must that a woman is still a virgin but i i like what? that why are you looking for a virgin at 35? You're so flirty, just seeing your text makes me, if I can say so, erected. <laughs> he's, he's poetic with his words, isn't he? I didn't meet any of the girls yet from this social media girlfriend search because if I would meet them, including you, I would, you, I would 100% kiss. What if she doesn't want that, Jeremy? What if that's not what she's into? What if she wants to take it slow? What are you going to do? Well, considering the other texts were about, no, you will, it will happen. He's giving off certain vibes, isn't he? It's not really fun, is it? When we when we get down to the brass tacks of things, it's not really fun. There's drilling to do my fucking head in. So you can read it. I'm not reading all of it because it's mental. But the fact that he said, send me a picture of your mum. I won't save it so I can see how you look when you're older. And then reiterated, send me a picture of your mum. <laughs> Ruined it. They see the laugh, the smile drop from my face when they start drilling again. I'm... It's like they know our oh, Kane's recording. He doesn't record that often, but we'll do it now, quick. <laughs> He's a prick. He's a fucking prick, man. He really is. How's my girlfriend search progressing? Out of the girlfriend search, a wife search happened, and interestingly, <clears throat> out of about fifty thousand to seventy thousand. Emails. He just, he did not get 50 to 70,000 emails. I know he's very popular, but there's no way. I don't believe it. I, be, I may be like 700 people and he was weird with every single one of them. 
I refuse to believe it's 50,000, though. So I required. I feel like four women are worthy of getting married with me. Worthy. Worthy of being with an absolute freak of a man. I'd feel on edge around him all the time. You know how many women are fucking killed by their husbands and all that? You want to be around him? He's one of... He would do it. I feel like he would. You've seen him ignore consent a couple of times in his messages. What's he going to be like behind closed, closed doors? I can't even speak. Where's it gone? So I still receive emails and Snapchat inquiries, but... I, I feel like four women are worthy of getting married for me. I'm the number one fragrance icon that follows the teachings of Jesus. Just busting a little groove for us at the end. Again, following the teachings of Jesus Christ. I know Jesus Christ spoke to the masses, you know, and he, he did all those. I don't know. I'm not Christian. I'm not religious. He did things for multiple people. Following the teachings doesn't mean getting emails from 50,000 people wanting to be with you. I don't think it's the same thing. What follow, what teachings are you following, Jeremy? That's what I'm trying to get down to. What teachings specifically? Because he's not showing much other than wanting a virgin and to wait until marriage. What else are you doing? Or is that it? Is that... I don't know. I really... Do. I have no idea. And I don't care enough. I just realize that in the middle of what I was I don't care I don't care what teachings you're following Jeremy I couldn't give a fuck <laughs> oh fuck it <coughs> I've just seen he's in his pants in this one I think that's the Pirates of the Caribbean theme I'm not too sure 30 seconds of him in his tighty whities and I guarantee nothing but stains up the back I don't like the, any of this and the fact he's using a P Diddy song in November what's the message Jeremy what are you trying to convey here there's a lot of things are not looking very good are they here's a headline Jeremy Fragrance found dead in his apartment please i'm single over six one make over three hundred thousand dollars per year attractive millions of followers on social media not vaccinated <laughs> that came out of nowhere oh fuck me oh he's special isn't he women are gonna love him then isn't it if he's six one over 300 grand that's enough isn't it really i'm 5'11 on a good day and i make about 20 quid a year women DMs now. Can you tell I can't sleep too well? It makes sense that it's all starting to fall apart. Everything, it all comes back to you, darling. You know you want to play with my heart. put my own instrumental over that because of copyright but it, it sounded like it was like Backstreet Boys or something I'm not sure but I think that's irrelevant the fact that he's got a, a loads of women around him like he's, he's done that several times with a random woman in the video where he just does that what's in the back of my head while I was explaining this that you already saw I don't know why I needed to speak about what you saw because you've got eyes probably if you're watching you might not I don't know. What's more impressive is the fact that he's 35 and he was able to do that with his knees. There's no way I could do that. No, absolutely no way. And you know what? I'm going to give it a go. I'm ill and I've got slippers on, no socks. You're not getting my feet. I'm not showing my feet. Wait, let's rewatch what he did. I'll be the oh my God. No, that's... What the fuck? So we're going to give that a go. I really don't want to because I've had bad knees all my life. And I'll give you a little bit of backstory as to why. When I was 12, there was a guy a bit older than me and he used to bully me quite a lot when I used to play outside. And I was only good with my words and insulting and zinging back because I was really small and weak. I was in the park and there was loads of us, like 30 of us. And he tried to cuss me out in front of everyone and I hit him with a zinger. And then it really embarrassed him and made everyone laugh. And then when I wasn't looking, he ran up to me and kicked me in both my knees and I fell to the floor and I've never recovered it's good isn't it nearly 20 years later all my knees literally they whenever I bend down so there's a little bit of backstory let's see if I die now I'm gonna give it a go Fuck. 
I just tried it, but my slipper came off and my foot come out. So I'm not showing you it because I want you to see my feet. <laughs> Let's try again and hopefully my slipper doesn't come off. I don't know if that was the same, but there was a lot of cracking like I was eating Rice Krispies. Snap, crackle and boom. Before we end the video, let's maybe find one more text message of him and let's stop looking at Jeremy afterwards. And I'm not gonna read all of it, you can read it yourself. But they've spoken about abuse and straight away he's gone, I can't talk about sexual things with you now because I'm about abuse, like it's made him feel uncomfortable that she's spoken about abuse. I don't like this guy. <laughs> And then, can you show me pictures so I'm comfortable? You know, I was actually, I was abused by my ex-boyfriend. Oh, I can't, oh, I don't want to talk to you sexually now. Oh, for f you've really ruined it. I was erected. Now it's flaccid. Oh, send me some pictures so I know, like, I can, <laughs> you know what I mean? Freak. Jeremy Fragrance found dead in his apartment. Please. That's what we're hoping for. That's what I'm hoping for this Christmas. Have yourself a very Merry Christmas. I came here not knowing what I was gonna do. It's been quite fun. My knee is still hurting me, actually. So that's good. If you had fun, please give the video a like. And if you got this far in the video, leave a comment saying, Kane, what a nutter. Not me, him. Don't comment that bit though. Again, if you wanna support the channel, links in the description. Listen to my music, songs. That I need you to listen to me, all right? Fucking listen to my music, please. Here's a video for you to go and watch. I'll see you guys next time with another video at some point. I'm gonna go and text loads of women like Jeremy now and be really upfront saying you want it in ya <laughs> See you later